Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. The year was 1989, 32 years ago, early January, the first ever furry convention was held. This convention was called Conference Zero and it had just about 65 attendees. And until a couple months ago, I didn't even realize there was any documentation left of this convention until a really good friend of mine sent me the convention book from that con from 32 years ago. Now this con book has a lot of interesting stuff in it, including some very vintage looking art and some uh, interesting takes that probably wouldn't fly as well in the modern day furry era. However, there was something in this con book that caught my interest. And that was this, the earliest possible that I could find, at least documentation, of a fursuit tutorial. And as you can see, it's how to make a fursuit tail. So today I'm going to challenge myself to follow this 32 year old fursuit tutorial and see what comes out the other side. It could be great, it could be awful, but you're gonna come along for the ride with me. Now, if any of you guys have ever seen photos of early 90s uh, furry conventions, you will know that the fursuits are, uh, how we say, cursed. And you thought the My First Fursuits video was bad. Maybe we should do a video rating these guys. So I can imagine that this fursuit tutorial was one of the first of its kind. But we are gonna see how we go. So I'm gonna print out that tutorial and we're gonna get right on into it. But first, I should um, probably clean up the mess in here before we start anything. Oh yeah, I need to take this off too so I can actually work and stuff. So let's get right on into it. Okay, so I've printed out our instructions specifies materials you will need. A piece of wire twice the length of your tail plus about four inches. Now I've picked up this 2.5 mil diameter wire from my local hardware store. Cotton batting or the equivalent of stuffing. Cotton balls will do but tend to leave a slightly lumpy surface. We're not gonna use that. We're gonna use polyfill from this pillow. Cheaper than buying it from the fabric store, just by the way. Next we need a piece of scrap cloth. I use old bedsheet material. Well, we're not gonna use old bedsheet material. We're gonna use this paw print fabric I have left over from my last degrade suit commission. A narrow belt long enough to fit snugly about your hips. I have this child-sized leather belt right here because I am approximately child-sized. And of course, some fake fur. And I'm gonna be using this piece of fur that I got by mistake because I got sent the wrong order by Big Z once. Okay, so to start off, the tutorials instruct us what, okay, first take the wire and fold it in half, twisting it together from the ends up towards the center until you're a couple inches from it, thusly. Thusly. <laughs> Words that people don't use anymore. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a wolf tail because I am a wolf. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Okay, uh, twice the length of our tail. So I'm thinking we want our tail, let's go that big. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay, and then it says add about four inches to that. So let's go with about there. Come on wire cutters. Oh no. Uh, we may oh, there it goes, never mind. We've got our big bit of wire. Take the wire and fold it in half. Twisting it from to get together from ends up towards the center. Okay, so we're gonna actually fold this in half now. Yep. Right, squishing it. Right. I think I may I think I could have probably gone with some thinner wire, but so it says to start from the tips, so Okay. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna start from this end, even though I recommend starting from the end. I'm gonna start from up here. That balls did. I know. Twist it. Got the first twist in our wire. First twist. Now I'm gonna work my way down. All the way down. That looks about what they wanted. Next, take the remaining wire, form it into a triangle, folding it back on itself to form two loops barely enough to fit the belt through as shown. Okay. <laughs> so essentially, untwist this just a little bit if I can. When curled correctly, 
This triangular section should just fit over the top of your cossacks and transmit movements to your tail when walked. Yeah, so it kind of wants them to be like this, I think. Okay. Me and wire don't mix. It's supposed to sit over your back like that, and the belt loops are supposed to go there, so when you move it kind of does the, that. Okay, why not? Oh my god, it's the belt loops better. Ow! <laughs> I think that's what it needs to be. It's gonna, the base of the belt is gonna be going in. Yeah, and essentially that is gonna attach our tail to there, like that. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Let's move on. Wow. Cut out a piece of the casing fabric in the shape of the desired tail. The example shown is for a cat's tail. Remember, this is to go under the fur, so don't make it too wide. You might want to make a paper pattern at this point, or come in handy later when you cut the fur cover. Okay, let's make a paper pattern. Paper! It looks like it is supposed to come about up to here, so we're gonna start it there, and it reckons about that thick. Do I have any measuring tapes? <laughs> I'm gonna mark the end of it kind of here. Yeah, no, we'll mark it there. Okay, that's the end. About 27 inches. Okay, how wide have we made this? Seven inches. <laughs> Whoops. And we'll make it go to about here, I think. Okay, there's that. Done. Right, now I need to add the funky little bit on the outside. Kind of got that curved bit. This is going to be our casing pattern. So we're going to cut this out of our paper and we're going to trace it onto our casing fabric. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's cut it out. Got our piece. Now we're going to sew it closed like this. This is going to be a very thin, maybe it is going to be a cattail, who knows. We're just following the destructions. Now let's sew it together like that. Sew the tube. Tube sewn! I'm assuming we turn it inside out. This is a very thin tube. Oh, I hate turning tubes inside out. Some of my least favourite shapes. A tube! I'm not looking forward to stuffing this thing, I won't lie. But let's continue on! Now, the instructions say, insert the twisted end of the wire into the casing until the tip reaches reached the closed end. Whip stitch it into place along what will become the top of the tail. Now stuff the casing. So I'm going to use the seam okay, all the way to the tip of the tail. There it is. Pull it there. Now it says to whip stitch this into him. <laughs> Does this look kind of wrong to anybody else? <laughs> It says to whip stitch this into the casing, which is basically just getting thread and running it round and round and round and round and round. So we're gonna get some thread and run it round and round and round and round and round. Oh, I think I'm gonna start from the end and work my way up. I'm gonna try to run it between some of the bits of wire to hopefully hold it into place better. Super speedy stitching montage, go! <laughs> All right, it is now whip stitched into place. And now it wants me to stuff it. With my old pillow stuffing, this is exactly the same as Polyglue. You can get it from Kmart. Stuffing time! How am I gonna get this to the end? I have no idea. Got it stuffed. It doesn't say anything about sewing the hole closed, so I suppose I'm gonna leave it open. But there we go. A big tube. It wags. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Next step. Next, cut out your fake fur on us to a scale slightly larger than that of the casing. Be sure to add a triangular piece at the top end to cover the belt attachment. So anyway, we're gonna use our paper pattern and we're gonna cut it slightly bigger. Oh here, here's our paper pattern. We're gonna add a triangle on top. So let's do that. Okay, fur direction going that way. So I'm gonna give it about a centimeter or two. Although I'm not overly worried about the fit. Do it like that. Okay, now this weird triangle piece at the top. What does it look like? There's that. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's cut this bit out. We're done. Okay, now same deal as before, apart from this, which I have shortened because I figured it wouldn't quite be the same. I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna sew it. They recommend doing this by hand, but I'm a professional, I think. 
maybe. And <laughs> I can do it without worrying too much for getting fur cotton seams. So let's get back to the sewing machine. Sewing time. Time to sew the tail. All right, tube again, tube two. Now we're gonna turn this inside out, which is gonna be even worse than the first one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, next step, let's go. So next it says, brush the fur towards the middle of the tail piece to avoid catching ends in the seam, the sewn inside out, ba 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 So basically this goes into here, and I'm gonna make this bit the top, so it's gonna have a nice cleaner finish. There we go, okay, okay, we're almost done. So I've got my little triangle piece left over and I'm just gonna fold this over the top and I'm gonna stitch this closed. Thread, they don't specify how to close this up. So I'm going to use a hidden stitch cause it's just gonna look nicer. But I don't know if they, I don't think they did this back in the days but they don't specify how to do this. So I'm gonna do it my way. Stitching montage, three, two, one, go. To finish this tail off, I think I'm gonna give it a good brush out because I haven't brushed out the seams yet. Give it a good brush out. Ladies and gentlemen, genders unforeseen, we have ourselves a tail. Kind of. It, it resembles a tail. It looks like a tail. Definitely a cat. Not a wolf like I meant to make. But um, let's see how it fits. Let's see how it fits. <laughs> okay, so this is our tail. Now it says that this is supposed to sit against your back, essentially. We're gonna feed it through our belt loops like so. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at it. It's got wag to it. It's got good wag to it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually though, it's a bit springy, like, it, it's wire, but look at it. Actually though, it's very firm on your butt, which makes me think a lot about this and how I could use this mechanism in a different way. That is a good tail. It's springy, it's got wag, it's posable. How high up could I actually pose it? This is my question. Whoa. have it like that. They have like the question mark tail. Let's see if I can do a question mark tail. See now it's starting to kind of crumble under its own weight but even then like oh with some adjustments this could be really good. Wow okay sure look at it. Oh oh I'm actually over fucking joyed with that. That's bloody brilliant. Okay right well then let's wrap up the video shall we? Okay, so what have we learnt here today? Um, I don't think, my, I've learnt that I'm not gonna bash on wire core tails anymore. This has proved that. And um, just because a tutorial is old, the oldest one I could find, doesn't mean it's not any good because I am ecstatic with that results. And that, that tutorial was like the first one to ever exist. So huge props to Kay who made this tutorial. Thank you Kay for this beautiful insight into how our first things were made. Uh, 32 years ago. Guys, wow. I did not seriously not expect it to work that well. I reckon I can take some of the techniques I've learned from following this tutorial and implement it into future suits. I mean, imagine being able to have tails stand up just like that. Thank you guys so, so very much for joining me today. Um, if you guys want to see a video where I talk about the first ever fur cons that happened, so all the early conferences in the late 1980s to the early 1990s, let me know. We can have a look at some of the cursed fursuits. We can talk about what kind of events they had, how the furry fandom came to be, essentially. If you want to see that video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel where I have my own tutorials and I do other miscellaneous fursuit making content, like last week's where we reviewed your first fursuits. But join me next week for another sky high Saturday or Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Ah.